Hey everyone, this is Chris back with another product tech tip. And for this week, I'm gonna talk about chamfers and fillets on CNC machine parts and enclosures and go through some of the similarities and differences between the two. So let's get into it. The process of CNC machining is perfect for creating complex parts with incredible precision and accuracy. And since it's automated, it greatly reduces the chances of errors, ensuring high quality parts are produced quickly. At ProtoCase and ProtoSpace MFG, we have the capability to manufacture fully finished machined parts really quickly. And to give you a better idea of our CNC machining processes and capabilities, we've put together a complexity guide which you can download from the link in the description below. Now, for many of you out there, you depend on CNC machining to create intricate parts that your organization needs, and even the smallest design details really matter. Now, take chamfers and fillets, for example. They may seem like minor tweaks to a design, but they can seriously impact the geometry of your CNC part. So before we dive into why chamfers and fillets are important, and how, if they are improperly designed, can introduce some critical challenges, Let's get a clear idea of what they are first. In CNC machining, a chamfer refers to an angled edge cut along the corners of a material. A fillet is a rounded interior or exterior corner or edge incorporated into a part. Chamfers create a straight edge while fillets provide a smooth curved transition. Now, like I mentioned earlier, chamfers and fillets can really impact a part's functionality. Adding these features can enhance the quality and performance of your parts. Fillets are usually used to reduce stress concentration in materials, which improves the strength and durability of a part. Chamfers can also help with the stress and they're also often used to make parts fit better together. For enhanced aesthetics, consider adding chamfers to your part. Now chamfers are extremely useful for preventing chipping and cracking as sharp edges are eliminated. As with any product, edges are often weak points which can be prone to breakage and additionally, rough or sharp edges can also carry an injury risk during handling and assembly. Now, as a result, chamfers are very useful on parts that get handled very frequently because they make parts safer and more comfortable to use and handle, leading to more ease of assembly and also greater durability in the long run. Fillets, meanwhile, are really important for load-bearing components. They help distribute the load more evenly, which then reduces the risk of dealing with cracks and material fatigue. So as we've covered, chamfers and fillets can play critical roles in your CNC machined part, but they can also come with certain disadvantages too. Now to add these features, we sometimes need additional setups or non-standard tooling. This can mean longer lead times, which isn't always ideal, especially when you have critical projects that depend on getting these parts in your hand quickly. So if you do submit a design with chamfers or fillets for your machined part, don't be surprised if a member of our engineering and design team suggests that you modify or remove these features during the quoting process. Now, here's the thing, we can certainly add chamfers or fillets, and in most cases, these will be a non-issue. But we just wanna make you aware of any part details that may increase time and cost for your projects. If chamfers and fillets are essential for your design, well then that's great, we'll make that work for you. So to wrap up everything, by integrating chamfers or fillets, you can enhance both the functionality and the longevity of your machine parts. You will get a more precise and consistent final product, but then keep in mind that they might add some complexity to the machining process, which then in the end could result in extra lead time and extra costs. So if you have any more questions about chamfers and fillets, or if you need help adding them to your design, just reach out to your Protocase or Protospace MFG account manager Simply fill out our contact us form. We've added the link to that in the video description below. So that's all I have for this week's Proto Tech Tip. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for even more tips and guides being released every week. Until next time, take care.